Drama alert photoshopped a picture of me and two fans and cropped out the background and said that I solicited two boots to my hotel room. And then when I told you about it, all you did was delete it and not once apologize. We have to talk about Fousey right now. So if you guys are not aware, Fousey has been live streaming 24 seven and he literally got canceled not too long ago. If you guys missed that whole cancellation, please watch my previous videos. And honestly, I don't know what's wrong with him. It does look like he's having another episode. He was previously on Twitter arguing with Keemstar and we know that Keemstar and him don't have the best relationship. Or should I say didn't have the best relationship because apparently they were best friends for a while and now they all went to shit and honestly i could have told you that since the beginning because keemstar is not a very good person but that's just my opinion so after fusi got canceled because of the whole airport situation apparently he got a deal with kick for 15 million dollars and if you ask me i don't know if i believe that it's just so wow he goes broke and then the other day he's getting these contracts for 15 million dollars that's just wild to me but let's just talk about the drama he's been in with keemstar right now because i do think this is a very funny situation i'm gonna sound like a broken record but everyone saw this coming with fusi and keemstar if you guys are not familiar keemstar and fusi have a whole history of back and forth hating each other basically keemstar harassing fusi all the time and fusi even told him yo i wanted to unalive myself is not hey i'm just telling you as a man at 28 years old what i feel you made me want to commit suicide last year and then out of nowhere they became best friends they started happy punch well now it seems like they're enemies again and also i dislike what he's putting out on the internet right now just talking about a whole bunch of stuff being very excited for this contract and if i was in his position i would just wait until that contract is signed and have the money in my hands but no he's going to bradley martin's podcast saying yo I'm getting it, I'm getting my parents a house, etc., etc. And he's basically spending the money he doesn't have yet. But here's where everything goes downhill with him and Keemstar. Keemstar made some Twitter videos and this is what he said. Or you have lost, you have lost a grasp on reality, one or the other. And I'm not trying to cancel you. I'm not trying to cancel you. All I've wanted for you to have was a good career. But when I saw that shit and how you treated that girl, that was fucked up, all right? And on top of that, you lied to me. Listen, I'm not saying what Fusi did was right. I'm saying, yo, this is hella wrong. But Keemstar, you can't be coming at Fusi for what he did. You literally didn't give two shits when that girl accused Jake Paul of, you know, essay. And you literally told her, why did you open your mouth? You should have kept your mouth closed. Like, bro, who are you to judge Fusi over this? Like I said, I'm not defending Fusi. I'm playing both sides here. I'm not defending him. But it's so wild to me that Keemstar decided to say, yo, you're disgusting for this. Like, bro, really? But anyways, let's let's keep playing the video. I told you. In the morning, as soon as I woke up, I'm getting all these text messages from YouTubers. Fousey's messed up. Fousey's manic. Fousey's this. Fousey's that. I called you directly to find out what was going on. All right? It was a one-minute call. It was real fast. Got you on the phone. I said, Fousey, what's going on? Everyone's telling me that something's wrong. And you go, no, no, no. Keem, it's good. It's good. It's good. I'm just playing the July uh, 15th character. And he goes, Keem, I just fucked a girl in the bathroom. I'm like, right on, man. Right on. All right, I'll let you get back to your stream. Bam. And yeah, I do believe Fusi actually did it with that girl in the men's restroom. I'm not going to lie, bro. He literally looked genuine talking to his stream about it. I do believe that. 11 a.m. Got the screenshot to prove it. Just look, show people your fucking call log, bro. Show them. Then later that day, when I find out the context of the girl that you fucked in the bathroom, the girl that was a victim of sex trafficking and how you manipulated her, it's like, bro, when she told you that story, you should have backed off. No, you did the other. You went to go pursue her sexually. Fucked up. So when I text you later to confront you, once I know the context, you straight up say, Keem, I didn't do anything with that girl. But you forgot that I had a call with you earlier that day. I understand that you were sleep deprived or whatever, and you might not be all there, but the proof is in your phone. Listen, Keemstar ain't wrong, bro. Like if Fusi called him to tell him being all excited, yo, I joined the Mile High Club, then yeah, you messed up, Fusi. But then Fusi goes off on Keemstar. I guess it wasn't like a Twitter space thing. I, I don't know how Twitter works, but here is a clip of FusiTube alive on stream, mad at Keemstar. It's the fucking truth. Oh, the truth. Just like when Drama Alert photoshopped a picture of me and two fans and cropped out the background and said that I solicited two prostitutes to my 
fucking hotel room. And then when I told you about it, all you did was delete it and not once apologize. I, I don't even remember. Of course you don't, because you used my name for money and relevancy. You used my name for money and relevancy your whole career. Only reason people are friends with you is because they know you can cancel them. You don't give a fuck about anybody but yourself. I was scared as shit of you, dog. Listen, let me just pause it right here. I don't know why Fusi would be friends with someone he's scared of. Doesn't make sense. Shit, team, you've never apologized to me, ever. First of all, you're bringing up so much fucking old shit. Yeah, because it's unreal trauma, team. You made me want to kill myself. You're not a good person. Okay. Okay, I'm not a good person. I never claimed to be a good person, but you do. You claim to be a good person, and I saw what you did to that girl in the airport. Oh, you saw, you fucking lying fuck. I tweeted you right after. I texted you right after, Keem. I'm not scared of you no more, Keem. The only reason people in this fucking chat, the only people, pe the only reason people in this chat fucking like the fans suck your dick is because you own Happy Punch, the company that I created that you stole from me, dog. Fusi also mentioned in this Bradley Martin podcast that he was not bipolar. He was never diagnosed to be bipolar, but this is saying otherwise. And like I said, look, I don't like Keemstar as a person, but sometimes you got to play devil's advocate. And here, Fusi's going off. And he, listen, he has all the right to. Keemstar ruined his life. But you never know, he might not be bipolar. Wrong, 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 wrong. Already wrong. Already wrong, doggy. Can I tell you what happened? You called me and said the only role you have in Happy Punch is to be Dana Tube. You have to be Wade playing. You hate Wade so bad, Keem. You wanted to get him fired so bad that when Wade got fired, you texted me, Wade's fired. You're the new Dana Tube. You're back. You said the only role you have at Happy Punch is to go interview people, do the media. I didn't want to be a fucking slave to my own company. Because you don't, because you've never been wrong in your entire life. Not once has Keemstar ever said he's wrong. Part of that is true, but there's I like how Keemstar said, part of that is true. Now nah, you've been wrong plenty of times, my guy. And yeah, you're a shit person for that. I have a rebuttal to everything you say, Keem. I'm not scared of you no more. I'm not scared of you no more. I'm not scared of you no more, Keem. You're irrelevant. I'm not scared of you no more, Keem. H3 owns you. <laughs> I love that. H3 owns him. If you're not into this whole H3 and Keemstar drama, bro, it is very good. They hate each other, and I love it. I love it. Fusi's now friends with Ethan and the whole crew. And yeah, that is legit hurting Keemstar, bro. So this whole space thing ends, and Fusi goes onto Twitter, and he writes this tweet. Finally banned Keemstar after years of emotional abuse. Brought me to the top of a car screaming, you made me want to keep myself. I was your friend because I learned to keep your enemies closer. Fuck and anyone who rides with you. Irrelevant. Keeps going saying, dear Keemstar, I don't care how many people in spaces take your back or YouTube boxing fans. G7 don't fuck with you respectfully. G7 promotions. Okay, so he's starting his own promotions now? G7 what? And he reposted this one from another Twitter user saying, Keem thinks you should just use your fame and money to manipulate a 20 year old, <laughs> a girl 20 years younger than you to be with you like he does. Keem has a daughter and degrades women on a daily basis, but wants to pretend like he has some moral high ground. Got him. Got him. You guys don't know Keem does have a 21 year old girlfriend right now. And he's 40, I think. Also responds to this Twitter user saying, the user said, Keemstar is using you for content again, as long as you're happy and aware. Otherwise, he is not worth your energy. I'm not scared of him anymore. He can't emotionally abuse me anymore. Hashtag H3 for life. Like I said, I could have told everyone this a long time ago. I knew this friendship was going to be a failure. But Fusi thought otherwise, saying, yo, keep your enemies closer. Hug them, bruh. But guys, that's all the drama I have for y'all today. Please let me know your opinions, thoughts, comments, concerns, everything down below. And also, if you did enjoy this video, please consider liking, subscribing, turning on those bells. And I'll see you guys 
on the next one. Peace.